We recently dined at Chef Art Smith's restaurant in Disney Springs, and in this video, we are going to share some of our favorite foods we have tried, including Art's famous fried chicken, country fried steak, and their signature sampler of dessert, a trifecta of signature hummingbird cake, chocolate pecan pie, and carrot cake. Chef Art Smith's restaurant in Disney Springs is a must visit for any foodie looking for a unique and delicious dining experience. The restaurant's bright and airy atmosphere is inviting, with floor to ceiling windows that let in plenty of natural light. The decor is rustic and charming. Another cool feature of the restaurant is that multiple dining tables and part of the bar were made from a 170 year old camp or tree that was struck by lightning. Also when you first walk in the door keep an eye out for their collection of dinner plates featuring signatures of famous people who have dined at the restaurant. The menu offers a wide range of southern inspired dishes from fried chicken and waffles to shrimp and grits all prepared with the chef's signature flair. We didn't order any starters this time but in the past we tried tried the church lady deviled eggs and they were really good. For my meal, I ordered the kitchen plate, which was just a combination of three sides. I picked the braised kale and collards, mama's mac and cheese, and Bradley's grits. The mama's mac and cheese was really cheesy, stringy, and creamy. The perfect trio for mac and cheese. I didn't know when I ordered that it was made with cavatappi noodles, which are my favorite, so that was an unexpected but happy surprise. There wasn't an abundance of flavor, but it wasn't bland either. It was the perfect creamy consistency, and I really enjoyed it. Next I tried the braised kale and collards which for me personally were horrible. I didn't know they were going to be pickled and I absolutely can't stand pickled foods so they were an automatic no for me. And last but definitely not least was Bradley's grits. These were my favorite part of the meal for sure. They were cooked to perfection and honestly were probably the best grits I've ever tasted. P.S. Bradley, I love your grits. I ordered the country fried steak. The dish features a tender and juicy steak that was breaded and fried until crispy and then smothered in a rich and flavorful gravy. The steak was cooked really well and the breading was delicious. It was perfectly crispy and seasoned to perfection and the gravy on top was the perfect complement. It wasn't your typical white gravy. It was a little bit more spicy but it didn't have too much of a kick to it. The meal also came with two sides and a cheddar drop biscuit. For my sides I chose the mashed potatoes and green beans which were both excellent. I ordered the char grilled chicken with a side of mashed potatoes and green beans. The meal consisted of two grilled chicken breasts which were topped with avocado slices. The chicken was really juicy but lacking a little bit of flavor so I added a little extra salt and pepper but otherwise the flavors were all delicious. The avocado really added a nice creamy texture as well. The mashed potatoes were so creamy and thick they had a great buttery flavor. The only thing that I would change is once again they needed a little bit more salt and pepper. They paired well with the chicken and I really enjoyed them. The green beans were cooked with bacon and were delicious. They were soft but not too soft and the flavor from the bacon was exceptionally good and it took the green beans to a whole new level. Overall I really enjoyed this meal and would highly recommend it to anyone looking for a more healthy option at Chef Art Smith's homecoming. For my meal, I ordered the Art's Famous Fried Chicken. It usually comes with a breast, leg, and a thigh, but I requested solely boneless chicken breasts. The flavor and texture of the chicken were amazing. The chicken is brined in a flavorful blend of buttermilk and spices for 24 hours and then coated in seasonings and flour and fried to crispy perfection. The result is a juicy and tender chicken with a perfectly crispy exterior that's bursting with flavor. I really enjoyed it. My chicken came with a side dish of creamy mashed potatoes and a cheddar drop biscuit. The mashed potatoes were more dense than I expected, but that wasn't really a bad thing. I wish they would have had a just a touch more flavor to them, but overall they weren't bad. The biscuit was surprisingly a little on the dry side and it also didn't have much flavor. Overall, the chicken was definitely the best part of my meal. For dessert, we ordered the signature sampler, which was a petite portion of their famous hummingbird cake, chocolate pecan pie, and carrot cake with a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream. The dessert I tried was the their hummingbird cake, which is the dessert that this restaurant is most famous for. The cake itself was a moist pineapple banana cake with spices like cinnamon and nutmeg. It's topped with a creamy and indulgent cream cheese frosting and it had a scoop of vanilla ice cream on the side. For me, the banana flavor overpowered everything else and I'm not huge on the flavor of bananas, but if you really like them, I'm sure you'd love this cake. The cream cheese frosting was exceptionally good and the ice cream was the perfect complement to the dessert. The dessert I tried was the chocolate pecan pie. I had never had pecan pie with chocolate in it before so I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but it was exceptionally good. The pie crust was flaky and buttery and was filled with chocolate, topped with a layer of crunchy caramelized pecans. The filling was perfectly balanced between the chocolate and the toasted pecans, creating an amazing combination of flavors and textures that were both indulgent and satisfying. The pie is a 100-year-old Smith family recipe, and I can see why they've kept it around. From now on, I'm always going to want chocolate in my pecan pie. I tried the carrot cake, which was their house-made carrot cake, 
topped with cream cheese icing and a caramel drizzle. The cake itself was really moist and delicious, and the cream cheese frosting topped with caramel was the perfect complement. It was a great dessert, and I would recommend it to anyone who enjoys a really good carrot cake. Another thing they serve for dessert is Everglazed Donuts, which are from another local restaurant in Disney Springs, which was one of our favorites. If you missed our video about Everglazed, be sure to watch that one next. In our opinion, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming Restaurant is a must-visit for anyone who loves delicious and authentic Southern cuisine. The staff are knowledgeable and friendly and help to make our dining experience even more enjoyable. Chef Art Smith's Restaurant is a wonderful addition to the Disney Springs dining scene and is beloved by locals and visitors alike. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel and then watch our video about the incredible donuts at Everglaze next.